welcome you all dear students in today's session we are going to study about reported speech see reported speech is nothing but indirect speech direct and indirect we have two ways of saying right we repeat the original speaker's exact words here is given he said i have lost my umbrella what we can notice here is comma and along with reported uh, commas you know inverted commas and when we come to indirect speech it is different he said that he had lost his umbrella there are two parts one is he said i have lost my umbrella here we can say he said is nothing but introductory part and used with speech but here is to connected by using that what what are the changes we can notice here he said that he had here i becomes he i becomes he have had my his in this way we noticed person i mean first person changes into third person that is he and tense have becomes had my becomes his my possessive i mean possessive adjective changes into his in this way direct speech is turned to indirect speech what do you mean by indirect speech we can say that in indirect speech we give the exact meaning of a remark or a speech what a person a said for example a said i have lost my umbrella but b is taking what a said how b has taken the exact meaning of speech of a without necessarily using the speaker's word he didn't b didn't copy down the same words what a has used got it b used those words in his own by changing tense pronouns and possessive adjectives and he told those things to c so here a said that is what direct speech b has used what a said that is reported speech got it is it clear in this way we can understand this concept yes let's look at what are the changes we noticed in this speech see pronouns pronouns and adjectives changes necessarily necessary change how pronouns changed first and second person pronouns for example first person i second person you see these two pronouns changes i mean change along with this possessive adjectives for example it may be that my yes normally change to the third person for example my changes into his right i becomes he in this way we are changing pronoun wherein reported speech but except when the speaker is re reporting his own words in the case wherein when the speaker is reporting his own words how i is used i said i said 
let me explain in next following activity what it means just you keep in mind except when the speaker is reporting his own world his own words don't want to change anything in this case okay so keep in mind let me explain yes she said he is my son he said that he was her son what are the changes we notice here is tense form he is my son becomes he he was her son her son possessive adjectives turn to third person got it my becomes her in this way we are changing this forms and all yes this or these this used in time expressions usually becomes that this becomes that if the word this is used wherein direct speech when you convert that particular statement into indirect you need to use that for example she said she is coming this week how it is changed she said that that is used to combine she was is becomes was here is becomes was coming that week this becomes that in the same one more rule we have this and that used as adjectives usually change to the he said i bought this pearl or these pearls for my mother for example uh, in the same here is used he said that he had bought he said that he had bought the pearl or the pearls for his mother here pearl or pearls that we know very clear and it is specific in that case we can write the instead of writing that got it let's move to next one this these used as pronouns can become it they them how he came back with two knives and said what is that i found these beside the king's bed these what does it refer two knives got it he said here we can write that he said that he had found tense is changed i found simple past changes into past perfect so that he had found them these these refers to two knives that's why them plural form got it them beside the king's bed in this way two knives refers to these i mean these refers to two knives two knives wherein in that speech these changes into them let's go to next example he said we will discuss this tomorrow he said that combining to combine two sentences we need that they we plural first person changes into third person plural form that is they will becomes would discuss this 
here this usually we change into that but here is it why because it refers to the matter that's why it tomorrow becomes the next day or the following day in this way we chained this sentence let's move on expressions of time and place in indirect speech when we come to time and place how time and place is chained here is given direct and indirect speech if it is today that day yesterday the day before then the day before yesterday two days before tomorrow the next day or the following day the day after tomorrow it becomes like uh, in two days time next week or year the following or week or year in this way we are going to change these things in in that speech let's move on here i saw her the day before yesterday he said here is given for the purpose of understanding how time and place is changed here is written he said here we can write that okay he said that he had seen tense i saw i saw which tense is used simple past converted into past perfect he had seen her two days before yesterday changes into two days before in the same next following sentences i'll do it tomorrow he promised he promised that he would do it the next day got it in this way we are converting uh, sentences from direct to indirect but if the speech is made and reported on the same day here is the problem these time changes are not necessary no need to change if the uh, speech is used in the same time see for example at this morning at this morning at this morning he said i'll be very busy today say today this morning so same day got it so in this case what we have to focus is at breakfast this morning he said that he would be very busy today so there is no changes what we have changed here is only pronoun that is i becomes he right sorry i becomes he and will becomes would so these two changes we noticed here when the speech is used in same day got it let's move on to the next here can become there but only when it is clear what place is meant here becomes that there for example at the station he said at the station he said i'll be here again tomorrow he said that he would will become would be there again the next day tomorrow becomes the next day usually here has to be replaced by some phrase instead of using there we can uh, use some phrase like beside her look at the statement she said you can sit here here is used we can write there instead of using that we can write some phrase like beside her nothing happen right okay let's move on statements in indirect speech 
tense change is necessary how look at here indirect speech can be introduced by a verb verb in a present tense like he says that this is usually when we are reporting a conversation that is still going on right so it's in present tense reading a letter and reporting what it says reading instructions and reporting them reporting a statement that someone makes very often so all these statements are used in says that how tom says that he'll never get married because this statement is framed often often many times the same thing is explained again when the introductory verb introductory verb is nothing but he says that here says is nothing but introductory verb is in his present present perfect future tense we can report the direct speech without any change of tense if there is a reporting verb like he says no need to change its tense form for example paul phoning from the station what he says i'm trying to get a taxi right i'm trying to get a taxi and to mary paul said this statement that is quoted by and to whom mary who is standing beside her what n says paul says he used introductory verb says so it's in present tense simple present tense therefore no need to change what paul says you can continue in the same paul says that you can write that paul says that he is trying to get a taxi got it keep in mind when the introductory verb is in present present perfect future no need to change tense of the statement okay yes let's move on but indirect speech is usually introduced by a verb in tense which tense past tense so indirect speech we usually introduced in past tense verbs in the direct speech we have then to be changed into corresponding past tense the changes are shown in the following table look at the table table is very important my dear students grammatical formula is used to understand this concept that's why you need to focus on this table with more focus here is given simple present see we have three tenses first is present past and future in present tense we have four forms simple continuous past present perfect present perfect continuous in the same uh, past tense simple past past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous similarly third one simple future future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous but we have to focus all these things in order to change statements into indirect speech how tenses are changed 
if the statement is given simple present tense like uh, i never eat meat he explained that is converted into simple past he explained that he never ate meat got the point similarly present continuous i am watching for an he said he said that he was waiting sorry not watching waiting for an was waiting that says that is given or change past continuous then third present perfect i have found a flat he said he said that he had found a flat past perfect present perfect past perfect it's very easy to understand you must keep this formula in your mind to understand this concept whenever the statement is given you need to recognize which tense is used on the base you can uh, convert that particular statement into indirect so it's very easy you keep this uh, table in your mind for your understanding got it yes let's move on yes here when the questions is used in direct speech how do you change yes here is direct question he said where is she going question is used or interrogative he asked where she was going you cannot write he asked where here where itself conjunction to combine two statements together so no need to use that okay you can use here double h where he asked where she she was going this statement is right you cannot write immediately after you write where you cannot write where was she going if you write this statement is wrong why because the statement follows the same pattern i mean the, when the statement is given in interrogative you need to convert that particular statement into affirmative form if you placed affirmative form your question mark is omitted got it let me explain the uh, rules there you'll come to know what it is here is given yes when we turn direct questions into indirect speech what we have to follow follow the necessary changes tense we have to change tense form pronouns possessive adjectives it's common right adject adverbs of time and place so common you have to change in every statements and all but when we come to questions in direct indirect interrogative form of the verb so we have to change interrogative form of the verb into affirmative form in the same thirdly question mark is omitted you do, don't want to uh, place at the end question mark you must omit wherein indirect questions yes then if the introductory verb say got it it must be changed to a verb of enquiry for example question we are asking not question is saying nobody 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 say uh, says like uh, uh, i i says question i say question okay they would say that i ask or i will ask what question that's why reporting verb or introductory verb we can use is ask wonder wanted to know whenever 
questions okay he said where is the station he asked where the station was helping verb is placed at the end of the statement if you placed helping verb after where it becomes question again so you have chain tense form but question mark won't be omitted from the statement okay so you keep this uh, formula i mean rules in your mind then ask can be followed by person the person addressed how he asked what have you got in your bag he asked what have you got in your bag he asked me here uh, me to whom he asked me what what is wh is used i you becomes i why because me is used that's why i so look at the tense here have you got have you got clearly shown that is used in present perfect present perfect converts into past perfect so i had i had got in my bag yes let's move on to the next yes he said mary when is the next train he asked mary when the next train was so in this way we have to change question into affirmative form 